Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at LG52 Target Master Misfire from the Transformers Legends line by Takara Tomy. Uh, as you can see, you have the jet and then the Target Master over here with the Headmaster up here in this little window. Really nice artwork over here. I like the le the uh, Legends packaging. I think they do a pretty nice job with that. Not too much going on on the top. Certainly nothing going on on the bottom. And this side just kind of shows off the toy. And then this side, you have a little bit of artwork there, which looks pretty nice. And then on the back, you have the jet mode, the robot mode, target master, gun, and robot mode. Really nice packaging. I like it a lot. But let's go ahead. We'll get Misfire out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's everything out of the packaging. Obviously, you have the target master, the head master, and then the vehicle, which will become the body. So taking a quick look at Aimless, I think they did a great job with them. I love the look of the barrel of the gun on his back. I think his face sculpt looks fantastic. Nice gold paint there. You, the eyes are painted red, but it's kind of hard to see because they're kind of tucked up under his brow. But overall, really nice detailing. You get some silver paint on the arms and the hands. You get some silver paint here on the uh, shins of the legs. Really, really nice. Really fantastic. Uh, his transformation, you start out by swiveling the head around 180 degrees, and then you're going to point the two legs outward like this, at the ball joint that he has. I guess I should have done articulation. There's a ball joint here in the arm, there's a ball joint in the knee, there's a swivel in the waist, and then of course the head can rotate 360 degrees. So if we swivel these back, you're going to... There's two little notches... And I'll get a little bit closer. You can see right here and here. And they're going to go into these two tabs on the back of his feet here. So you kind of just move these around until they line up like this. And then at that point you're going to swivel this whole section around like this. And just kind of point the arms back. And then there you go. That is the target master mode. Pretty cool little gun. I like that. Uh, you can attach it in this mode. There's a peg hole right here. So if you'd like to attach it right here, you can do so. Kind of looks a little goofy, but still nice. I'm just going to put him off to the side for now. We'll bring him back once we get into robot mode. But here is the vehicle. I think it looks fantastic. It's such a uh, like futuristic spacecraft jet vehicle that I just love the look of it. The coloring I think really works as well. The magenta works well with this light blue for the canopy. See a little bit of the robot kibble underneath but really not a big deal. I really like this. I think they did a great job with the design. I mean obviously they were going off the original design of the G1 toy but I've always thought it was a pretty cool vehicle mode. Taking a look at the Headmaster. Really nice job painting Misfire. You can see that the head of the Headmaster is very similar to the head of Misfire. And they did a great job of painting the outside, the gunmetal gray, to match the rest of the face. So when you transform it into the head mode. But the face sculpt and the paint on the face is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Transforming it around, you can see you have the pretty much cohesive gunmetal gray color there and really beautiful face paint and the visors sculpted well so really beautiful headmaster they did a great job with this of course you can lift this up open the canopy here there we go and then you bend him like this and he can sit inside and then close it up oh is he not gonna go push him down a little bit farther I oh, know it's not the head, he just wasn't closing. There we go. And you can see him inside, looks great. Nice translucent canopy. Really looks fantastic. So I love this vehicle mode. Can't say enough good things about it. It doesn't have landing gear, but I feel like it doesn't really need it. It sits perfectly fine on its own. It's not going to fall over or anything. So I absolutely love this vehicle mode. But let's go ahead and get into the transformation. So as many of you have probably already determined, or you can tell from the mold, it's the same base mold as the trigger-happy mold. 
uh, but it's been heavily retooled and they've really done a great job. But the transformation is fairly similar, but it's actually a little bit less complex than Trigger Happy. You don't have to spin everything around like you had to with him. Uh, you're going to start out by just folding this whole front section down. Just like this. And then this whole section will rotate up and just fold and sit on top of the canopy. So you're going to want to make sure you took the headmaster out. <laughs> I've already removed the headmaster. Um, at this point you can come to the back here and unhook what will be the forearms. You can see that they peg in. There's a really obvious tab here on the side which pegs into the side of the legs. So you kind of move that and then you can rock the legs out when you do that. Unpeg them from each other, flip out the feet and heels. And then what you're going to do is fold this back in so that his crotch is not so long. And there you go, you pretty much have the whole bottom part. So rotating the camera up. For the top section here, what you're going to do is first you have to pull the wing back because you'll see that there is a spot, and I apologize, uh, that tab right there was pegged into that tab spot right there. So first you have to untab that. So you pull the wing back, and then you can start to rotate this whole section up. Now as you do that, you also have to rotate the wing. So you kind of go up a little bit, pull the wing down, go up a little bit, pull the wing down, because the wing rotates on this little swivel right here. So as you're rotating this up, you have to make sure the wing stays out of the way. But then once you get it up, you push it up, and then you have the wing, and then you can just go ahead and flip out the fist. So that's what it'll look like when you're done. So if we do it pretty quickly with the other side, untab the wing, rotate this out. So you just have to be a little ginger, make sure you don't forget to untab anything or force anything. But there you go, there is the body. And as you can tell, it is a lot of this hot pink, magenta pink. Uh, but it looks good. I like it a lot. And there's not a lot of kibble. I think the wings on the back look great. I don't even mind this jet part of the kibble as a backpack. I think it looks cool. Uh, if you wanted, you could bring the wings back in, but I feel like they kind of get in the way of articulation, so I like to leave them out. And then you're going to bring in your headmaster and transform them. I like to rotate the head 180 degrees just because I think it works a little better with the way the connector port is. And then just pop it in. And then there you go. You have Misfire. He looks great. Really, really nicely done. The head looks fantastic. Paint apps look great. Again, mostly magenta, but you have some uh, gray color in here. The Decepticon symbol on the chest looks fantastic. You have some gunmetal gray on the top, which matches with the head, the fists, the feet. You have a little bit of white. And then you have a tiniest little bit of like a peach color here in the shin. I guess just to break it up. Same on the wings here. But again, I think he looks absolutely fantastic. I really have no complaints. Yes, it's a lot of pink, but there's enough of this kind of off-white color to break it up and the gunmetal gray and it all just really really works we will bring aimless back in so we can give him his titan master fits easily into his hand really well done looks absolutely fantastic poseability wise obviously he has the ball joint from the titan master's head for his head swivel you have up and down here in the shoulder as well as front to back you have a bicep swivel you have 90 degrees in the elbow uh, no wrist articulation, but I don't think you need it. You have a waist swivel here. You have hips on a ball joint. Thigh swivel a little bit over 90 degrees in the knee. And then you have a little bit of ankle tilt just from the transformation. But all the articulation you'd need. He looks fantastic. The target master is great. The paint's fantastic. Takara Tomy has really outdone themselves. Before I end the video, I always like to take a look at the instructions with the... Uh, Takara releases because the Transformer Legend instructions are pretty fantastic. Beautiful artwork here. They don't include any cards or anything, but I feel like who cares? You get this beautiful uh, artwork here on the instructions. Turn it over. You see the toy itself with a little bio that I can't read, unfortunately. You get the tech specs here. 
And then when you open it up, as with every release, you get a little comic. Now, unfortunately, I have no idea what's going on, but it looks like Misfire's got this kind of Santa robe thing going on. He's hanging out with Aimless. And then it looks like there was an Autobot Target Master hanging out with Rodimus that has a baby inside. I don't really know <laughs> what's going on there. Uh, but obviously he transforms and he's battling uh, Hot Rod in his Headmaster mode. But then he transforms as well and saves the baby. So it's weird, crazy, but I love these little comics. I just, there's something, and they're so Japanese that you couldn't even replicate them in America. They just wouldn't be the same. There's just something about these crazy Japanese comics that are fantastic. And then when you open it up, these are the normal transformation instructions. So, I love these. I really absolutely love these. I'm very excited for every one that I get. Very, very fun. So this is an absolutely phenomenal figure. I have nothing to complain about. He looks great. The paint apps are great. The mold is great. The headmaster, the target master, everything about this guy is just loads of fun. The comic he comes with with the instructions is super fun. I have nothing to complain about. If you can get a hold of this guy, pick him up. He's worth your time. He's absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend him highly enough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at LG52 Target Master Misfire with Aimless. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.